In this module, we're going to focus on subsidiarity as a theme of Catholic social theory. And first of all, I want to define the basics of this term because it's a term that's really unusual. Um, unlike, for instance, common good and or solidarity, which are terms that we've probably heard before and we have some kind of idea of what it's about, subsidiarity is a bit of an oddity. It's the belief that government has a positive moral function, which distinguishes Catholic social theory from other forms of political and social thought, which usually cast uh, government as morally neutral, as simply a functionary, um, without any real moral or ethical impact. Catholic social theory starts in a different place, claiming that government has this positive moral function. It's the belief that government is an instrument to promote human dignity, the common good, and protect human rights. People in this society, citizens have a right and a responsibility to participate in these political institutions. The principle of subsidiarity holds that the functions of government should be performed at the lowest level possible, as long as they can be performed adequately. Um, and this is something that helps weigh off against the collectivism, you might say, of the common good. It's this idea that if a function can be performed at a lower or at the lowest level of organization, it ought to be. So, for instance, if something can be done at the city level of government, it shouldn't be assumed by the county. Or, if something can be assumed by at the state level, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be taken up by the federal level. It should be it should remain at the state level to be performed there. However, when the needs in question cannot adequately be met at the lower level, then it is not only necessary but imperative that higher levels of government intervene. In Catholic social theory, as I said just a moment ago, the principle of subsidiarity inoculates Catholic social theory's principle of the common good from devolving into thoroughgoing collectivism. Um, if the common good was the only principle of Catholic social theory. It could be certainly a temptation for some theorists to assume that every government function should be done at a, at a very high centralized collectivist level. Um, subsidiarity prevents Catholic social theory from devolving into this kind of collectivism. Subsidiarity was a neologism coined by Pope Pius XI in his encyclical Quadragesimo Anno in 1931. And here's how he defined the concept. Still, that most weighty principle, which cannot be set aside or changed, remains fixed and unshaken in social philosophy. Just as, as it is greatly wrong to take from individuals what they can accomplish by their own initiative and industry and give it to the community, so also it is an injustice, at the same time a grave evil and disturbance of right order, to assign to a greater and higher association what lesser and subordinate organizations can do. For every social activity ought of its very nature to furnish help to the members of the body social and never destroy and absorb them. You will read more and hear more about subsidiarity and also in our discussions you will um, be able to, do, to talk about subsidiarity. This is just a little primer.